Good morning. This is um, my first vlog. We're starting off great. Ooh. I have my little twinkle lights on because I can't quite turn on the light right now. It is um, 6.26 a.m. I've been trying to wake up early to do my editing in the morning so I can use the time later for filming because I rely on natural light for teaching my classes and clients as well as to do some training myself because if I don't wake up this early I will not get it all done and I do have a lot to do so sometimes I feel like ooh maybe you're doing too much but this is a part of the grind fam you know hair is uh fresh out of the bed and um I'm about to make this bed so that I could get on the computer and start editing and I'm planning on editing maybe for oh hey there you are <laughs> maybe around two hours see what I get done and uh, my first client is at 10 so every time I start my day this early 10 o'clock feels like <laughs> noon but yeah it's it's tough because I try to wake up when I when my body wakes up but I linger in bed it's not a good thing to do I try to wake up at least before 7 I set my alarm for 7 that's like that's the latest I can go but that's how circadian rhythms work when it's closer to winter the sun doesn't come up until 6 so waking up at 5 ooh, is rough I feel like 6 is okay you know what I'm saying all that said I'm gonna start this editing and I'll see you soon and it looks to be it's good beautiful day oh my gosh this is real life friends this is real life i don't typically do my hair right out the gate i <laughs> oh i wait until i have to be seen to do my hair and although i'm now being seen by the whole internet i guess this is what vlogging life is like you know this is this is it i do sleep on silk and i do have my um my scrunchie that's the uh the silk brand as well and i just sleep with my hair up because i feel that's just the easiest thing to do but uh we're still editing and i think i'm going to continue for an hour more the rate i'm going though however i'm not going to be able to tackle the second video like if i wanted to edit two videos i would have to well wake it grab her i would have to get out of bed at five and sometimes it's just too much so i'll do what i can and i'll tackle the second video sometime today but right now though let me see if i can finish this one and uh maybe do a little stretchy stretch i'm trying to do a little morning stretch and then the evening stretch seeing if i feel better from the morning stretch you know what i'm saying but yeah i wanted to show you just the, the difference in light like what an hour could do yeah it is so helpful when it's sunny though. When it's rainy and gray, it's really hard to be productive. You know what I'm saying? I'll check back in with you later. All right, we just cleansed. I'm sorry I didn't set up the, the camera to show my routine. I just went in with the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. I usually go in with the nice and my brightening toner at night. So today I went in with the neogen real firm it this is this is like a third bottle i can't stop using this stuff i just think it's effective without being too much it doesn't have any fragrance it doesn't have any essential oils and all this junk and then i'm waiting for that to dry down a little bit then i'll go in with my glytone antioxidant vitamin c and e serum this is my second bottle and i think i will repurchase a third 20 percent uh Tetrahexyldestol, T-H, 
I want to say THD. <laughs> it's a vitamin C alternative that's highly effective without being sensitizing and it really helps with the hyperpigmentation. So I'm going to slap that on and then a little bit after I'll apply just a tiny bit of the Dr. Sam's Brightly Flawless or Flawless Brightly Serum on the spots that need a little calming down. Slap on my, my silicone free moisturizer from Good Molecules and that is the uh, morning facial routine. I'm also going to fix this. You know, let me set up the camera so you can see how this hair is doing. Oh, and I brush my teeth as well. Just want to let you know. Oh, and I actually been using the the clothes, the fundamental nourishing eye butter. Uh, I really was supposed to apply this before the vitamin C. You know, as the as Dr. Sam likes to call the the moisture goggles. I like this one. It has shea butter. No fragrance. Put it on now. Put on the nose. It is uh, 37 degrees right now in New York, which then causes mucho dryness. So, <laughs> time for the hair. I don't do much, fam. As you've seen in all my videos, I primarily just put it up because when teaching and all this stuff, I just don't have the time. And to have it down, like, I just get hot. I get hot and, um, I don't particularly like how it's shaped right now. It's very long here, and then it gets shorter as you travel up the scalp. You know, I just, I don't know, I don't know man. I'm gonna take my spritzer here, and I use water. I know it's been recommended to use like a, a leave-in, can you spray please? A leave-in with uh, extracts and all that. I just find because I use so much water when I use that much leave-in, my hair feels a little heavy, okay? I'm trying the the pattern leave-in, but it's actually very thick. So I put some here to travel with. And if I keep applying this as much as I did with water, it just is too much. I still love my Jane Carter. This is something maybe I would put like at the ends or on the ends rather. It's a lot more lightweight than the pattern for sure. Next step, next step, my my melanin. <laughs> I've been scraping the bottom. I'm like, I will not. This is a lot of product down here, okay? I have a new bottle on standby. I'm just being like the absolute most with this so tedious but it's, it's oddly satisfying we're doing good we're doing good now i apply this mostly on the front side and back because i want to get that nice and smooth you know sure but i need more for the inside of my hair that's where it gets really dry and tangled got a little bit not nearly enough for all this hair that i have but you know, it will do. One product from Pattern that I've actually been liking is the, um, the gel. So it's not as fragrancy as their other styling products. Their Stronghold Gel, I actually really like it for my sides because it gets them down. With all the zhuzhing I just did, I could leave my hair like this. I just choose not to. <laughs> this gel is heavy, heavy. Look how shiny. Is my hair shiny over the back? Oh God. Ah, knots, 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 knots. I don't brush my sides because I like them to look just a little curly curl. I start brushing maybe uh, two, three days after my wash and go. And since I'm teaching my private, like I don't need it to look crazy, crazy. So I just do one loop around. But sometimes, I know, more water. If I just want a little more, I'll go in with the lighter gel, the curl hold gel. And this, this actually looks more like, um, like a, a lotion. I just take it on my sides here. So again, it's not necessarily flattening them down like I would with the, um, with the control paste. Because it's going to be, you know, one of those 15 hour days. I don't like to spend most of it with a tight pony. That's why I only do one loop around. See what I'm saying? You know, it's not too bad, but it's, it's a lot better than this morning. And I think it's time for me to do a little stretchy stretch.
right, we got the super flex sweatshirt on. We got some leggings. And uh, we got the storm cup. Bay gave this to me like 13 years ago. Uh, this concoction is water, apple cider vinegar, and a quarter teaspoon of real salt, Redmond's real salt. Mm. You know, this is just to get the gut going, to tell it, hey, I might be eating a cherry chocolate scone today. <laughs> but the thing is, I found through quarantine that when I do have these, um, these moments, I don't let it dictate uh, my hunger. I don't snack. I don't go overboard. So I realized the consequences when you eat something high sugar, high carb, like a, a scone, is that when your blood sugar levels just plummet because they spike so high from the insulinogenic effect of that type of food that you feel very tired, you feel fatigued, you feel you have to eat more. Where I think I kind of got accustomed to that and I don't know if it's because my body switches to fat burning when it needs energy I don't really know what's happening I don't think it's ketones I don't think I you know there's not enough time between scone and dinner time to create ketones you know uh -huh. so I'm gonna go down get one and um have my bone broth and then have my eggs before I have the fun stuff for that bone broth, friends. All right, 
fam. So I took off like the top layer of sugar because they put like a sprinkling of it, I think when they make it. Now it is in the toaster oven. Listen, everyone should have a toaster oven up in their kitchen space because it makes a difference, you know, when you put these pastries and things. It's like, how can you have it cold? Ew. And as you saw, I whipped up some cream, fresh, no additional sugar. I actually just crave the fat, but I love to have it with my scone instead of like, I could have butter too, but I love the cream. It just adds an extra element of lish. Unfortunately though, when you have a fat and a carb at the same time, it's not the best, but it's okay, whatever. I think it helps slows down the absorption of the carbohydrate, so it controls the uh, sugar spike levels. I'm not entirely sure if that's correct science, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, she's in the toaster oven, so the top could get nice and golden brown, much like as it were maybe when she just came out of the oven. There was a time when I was able to catch when the scones were fresh when those suckers came out of the oven at the bakery oh my god it's just unparalleled and heavenly there there are a few things in life that are worth it and just that's one of them so when that's done i'm gonna pop it out gonna make my little self a cappuccino and yeah get into it Hello. It is now 12.29. I have to start filming. I have a few things to do. So this isn't the filming hair. <laughs> Except it to be the private class hair. You know, even though I got my, my, <laughs> I don't know what to call these, you know, the, the stepsister curls. <laughs> and listen, I know it's a double standard. Like why do the natural hair people have to constantly be looking the neatest you know when a lot of other people get away with like bedroom ready hair and it's the trendy thing sure i could embrace this and and film with it i just feel you know i like to find that middle ground i like to embrace my texture while it looking its best so with that said i usually use one but when you know we gotta make sure the pony is tight i'll go in with two and that means I have to re-wet re the hair because now we really got to get these, these uh, the side curls looking glossy and nice. Since we already moisturized the top earlier today, we just have to focus on this stuff right here. Could I do another hairstyle? Most definitely. Do I want to? No. So it's one of those things, fam. It's just, I know it's like the easy way out, the easy thing to do, but it's really only what I have time for. Because now we gotta go in with the makeup. I forgot to take a photo for a thumbnail, so I need to kind of recreate that look. Not really a lot, it's, it was a skincare video, so, okay. Okay, another pattern product that I actually like. Their edge control alongside their edge tool, which is nothing new. I think there have been edge tools around for a very long time. There's another edge tool company that I've seen on the internet that's very popular. You know, you, you get whatever edge tool you want. This is the consistency of the product. It's a little more loosey-goosey than on Naturals flaxseed this one is way tighter and so i don't know you know how i feel about either i like the pattern it has a little more flow to it but of course it still has that same pattern smell so once the hair is up i i know a lot so much water i go straight in okay we start to brush it up i try to make the little cute side curled i really don't know how to do that but this, I could do this and go, choo, choo, choo. 
that's the extent of it fam i don't know how to do anything else i really don't so here we go made see this isn't bad you know this isn't bad but i just i like how that looks on camera <laughs> drip drip i do prefer how this looks on camera you know this with the sun shining on the gloss strands i make sure i get the front and then of course we'll get these front hairs going Mm -hmm. The side, I really don't know. I could do like the, what are the, those senorita curls where you just kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I don't like that either. It looks, <laughs> brushing it up, this is it. No, no mercy here. No mercy. All right. So with the back though, the back, I got to bobby pin it down. So these are my favorite bobby pins. They have a curve to them and it fits. <laughs> Bless you. And it fits the curvature of my head. And this is what I use just to kind of get the puff down. Now I could, could put a little more gel here, but what I do is I just take a, another bobby pin and just pin the very edges up so they don't do anything wild back there. I would not recommend this, but sometimes when I just see my hair uneven, I just, I'm sure some of you are like, Alicia, you have got to be kidding me. I just cut it off. I just cut it off. And you're like, well, that's why your hair is so lopsided because you're randomly cutting strands off. Yeah, I know. Tamika will fix it when I see her next. I don't know when that's going to be, you know, because it's been a while since I saw her. I was supposed to have seen her in April. That's when I was due for my six month trim. So the proof has been shaped. The sides are down. Brush these brows up. And let's get started on this filming. <laughs> I just finished my Lisa Eldridge video. Sorry I'm looking here and I'm looking there. Forgive me fam, this is the first time I'm vlogging. I just finished my Lisa Eldridge video and uh, yeah, my lips are tired. But it's well worth it because I've been wanting to film this video for a very long time because I was waiting for my lipsticks for a very long time. I'm very happy that they finally arrived and um, how are we looking? These are Chandelier Lashes in style Lady Grace. I've been loving these. They're like super plush, but like, okay for every day. Now I have to put on lipstick again to take the thumbnail. It never ends. With that said, fam, let me do that. And then I'm going to eat dinner around four. I eat uh, dinner quite early and my eating window, I try to keep it like five, six hours. And after that, I want to do a little workout before my class at six. I feel bad that I did not take a walk today. I did not leave the house at all today. <sighs> Despite how much work I do, I feel like I don't do enough because the day just goes and I'm like, what is happening? And because it gets dark so quickly, it gets dark around five. So I could work out in the house or I could take a walk instead. I'll see what I decide to do. And whatever that is, I'll just take you along for the ride. How does that sound? All right, see you in a bit. Dinner was great. I decided because it's only 4.15, class is at six. I decided to grab a coffee because mama's been buying too many cappuccinos early on this quarantine. That we have some free cups of coffee at Nutmeg. So I'm going to grab 
one of my 10 free cups and take a little stroll around the block nothing too crazy you know sometimes i'll walk over to the next town and back i just you know very short short and sweet throw on the coat got my lisa eldridge sweatshirt on hey hey yeah just sip as i stroll and maybe i'll do a half hour or something never underestimate the power of half hour workout don't feel you have to do an hour 90 minutes do some do some push-ups okay on the wall even you know what i'm saying put on the coat and let's get this cappuccino <laughs>
it is 9.05. Even though I did not record myself do a, a forward fold after all that back bending I did and I had to attend to some emails and send out my newsletter that was blocked because my account was under review. Clear that, it's out. So if you want to join the fam, just make sure you visit my website so you can get on the newsletter because on the newsletter, I will include a small video of like a movement sequence or something you can follow. Not very long. It's more like an inspo type of a thing. I'm about to get into the shower and uh, since it's nine, I try to shut down at nine. I haven't been very good at that, however. Meaning, like, don't listen to YouTube while you're in the shower. Don't look at stuff before bed. Just get off the phone. It's difficult, but it's not that difficult. I just choose not to do any of that, right? With that said, after I record this little portion, I'm going to talk to Bay. Okay, I'm just gonna put the phone on airplane mode. That's it. That's it. No ands, if, or buts about it. Gonna put it on airplane mode. I'm gonna read a book before I get to bed and call it a day. And we do everything again in the morning. This was a Tuesday, so perhaps yeah, I don't know how I don't know how consistent these vlogs are gonna be, friends. But what I would like to do is maybe do a different day so you can get an idea of uh, you know how it it changes as the days go. Tuesdays are rough because I have, you know, I start really early and end really late uh, because of my class at six and my client at 10. By the time I get to the end of the week and Thursdays are my, my day off, meaning I don't have any major obligations, right? I don't have any book clients. I don't have a shoot. It's a free day. It's so hard for me. All that to say, I hope you all had a great day. I'm sorry I'm looking at the wrong camera again. I hope you all had a great day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I now understand that perhaps maybe I'll get a vlog camera, not just because of the audio. I could get something for my phone for better audio. Forgive me if this is not the best first vlog, but it really did help me get into the groove of filming myself all day. <laughs> so let me know what you think down below. And until then, fam, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and until then, I will see you soon. Bye.